and the social equality in this country at the forefront of our minds as Marcos de Oliveira gets us underway from Soldier Field, Chicago Fire, and Houston Dynamo for 90 minutes. Tyler Terrence along with the U.S. Soccer Hall of Famer Tony Miola. An iffy play there by the Dynamo. Now can they pick one off again? Alaseda driving forward. Tough from a Houston Dynamo player across for Barrett on the first time. And there's the opener for the fire. Great ball from Bornstein, a clean finish from the Slovenian. And that's goals in three straight games for Robert Barrett. It's 1 0 to Chicago. Alaseda comes inside. And look at the first time ball in behind the back. Make a change in that position in such an important position for them with the way that they want to put their full backs up high. They'll have to have communication. He hasn't been able to give him a rest. Aliceda, here's Fabian Herbers. Two for Chicago. The best love story in Chicago at the moment is Fabian Herbers and Soldier Field. It's 2 to 0. And an easy finish here for Fabian Herbers as March can do nothing about it. They've got this defense stretched right now. He gets in between. Every game getting better and proving that he's worth every penny. I suppose if you don't ever shoot from there, you can never score That's from there, true. right? And now Alvin Barro Madron is away. Slides his way past a couple of different players. The Spaniard still going. Madron! Oh, what a goal! Oh, what a oh, goal, goal from the Spaniard! Alvaro Madron! What a great goal! Maybe gets a little lucky in the end. Madron goes quickly. Aliceda has plenty of space. Marich retreating. It's a 1v2. Aliceda. Look at Herbers getting down the middle of the field. Alicet is still with it, lays it off for Mihailovic. Oh, he hits it the first time! Oh, what a goal! The fire are flying the homegrown product with an absolute missile! It's 4 0! And it is offside. Boy, this is unfortunate here. Lasseter leading the break. Pineda defending out wide. Nice little move from Minotas. Going for Cole, and it's off the post. Follow up from Lasseter and a heroic block from Francisco Calvo. Sent back across, and it's on the wrong side of the post. A deflection. Ball slipped through because Lasseter, obviously a left footed player, doesn't generally shoot here on his right look. He falls asleep there, and he's leaning a little bit. And, you know, they did need it, but, but you and I have been talking about this for a week. I almost felt like it was coming a couple of games. Yep. You know, and the breaks weren't there. CJ Sapong was he taken down a penalty awarded to Chicago. Struna is claiming that it was outside of the box. CJ kept going, then Struna took him down again. Pond will wait to see if VAR has something to say about it. There is the initial part of the play here, but they'll let the play. We see a handball, which they may go to, but they'll let the foul continue. This may come back and be outside. CJ Sapong for his first goal of 2020. And it's saved by Marich. And they might pull this one back here if they look at it. But, of course, you know how much I love that from the goalkeepers. I hate it, right, if you can't <laughs> score from 12 yards out. CJ Sapong once more. This time he buries it. Sapong is first in the 2020 campaign. He got a second look. He got his mulligan here at the penalty kick spot. And this time, makes no mistake about it. One last move here before Marcus de Oliveira blows this one dead. One twist towards the byline. Back post. And the ball went out of play. And that's going to do it. The Chicago Fire with a thumping 4 0 win over the Houston Dynamo. They put an end to a five match winless streak. Five different goal scores. Excuse me, four different goal scores.